Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, and I'm here for a throwback album review. And I've been hyping this up for a while, and the last time I reviewed an album from this band was when I reviewed their 2019 albums and put them in the same video because this band did end up releasing those albums last year in 2019 as double albums. So I reviewed them both in the same video. So this time I'm here to review another album from them. And of course, it's Demon Hunter and their album, The World is a Thorn. Now, I know you, what you guys are thinking right now. You guys are going to be wondering where the front of the album cover is or whatever. Well, it's right here behind me right here. So I hung it up on my wall. So yeah, it's pretty cool. So enough about that. Let's go and get started with this review. Okay, so the album ups open. Okay, so this album opens up with a song called Descending Upon Us, and I think this is a pretty solid album opener. Is it one of their best album openers? I wouldn't go that far, but it's still pretty heavy and crushing and that, so yeah, it's a good album opener. I'll give it that, so yeah, despite it not being one of my favorite album openers from Demon Hunter, I still think it's a good song, so my score for it is going to be a 4 out of a 5. Okay, track two is Life War. Now, Life War is the shortest song on the album, but it's not one of my least favorites on there. I'll get to that later on in the review as we go along the songs here. But yeah, despite Life War being a short song, I think it's good. It mainly features aggressive and angry vocals, basically from Ryan Clark, but I still think it does good, and the guitar work on it is pretty good. So despite it being a shorter song from them, I still think Life War works as a shorter song because it's good. So the score for Life War is a 3.5 out of 5. Good song. Okay, song 3 is Collapsing featuring Jorn Speed Stride of Soil Work. Now, this song is really good. It's a great collaboration and out of the three collabs on this album, this is my favorite out of the three collabs. The other two collabs are great, but Collapsing is easily my favorite out of the collaborations that they've done for this album. But yeah, Collapsing mostly includes clean vocals from Ryan Clark and Born Speed Street, but it's still a good song though for sure. So yeah, good collaboration here. It works really well, and I really, really love this song. It's easily one of my favorites on the album. So with that being said, Collapsing, featuring Jorn Speed Strid of Soil Work gets a 4.5 out of 5 rating from me. Really good clap. So the next song is This Is The Line. Now this one is pretty good. I don't really have much to say about it, but it's still a good song. So the score for that song, This Is The Line, is going to be a 4 out of 5. If you guys see me grabbing something throughout the video, that's because I wrote down all of the songs on a sheet of paper and I gave them a rating. So, yeah, just so you guys know that. But, yeah, this is the line note. It's still a great song. So, like I said, the song gets a 4 out of 5. It's still a good song and pretty underrated from Neiman Hunter. Good song, though, for sure. All right, track 5 is Driving Nails Now. This is more in the ballad territory for Demon Hunter because, once again, it mainly only includes Ryan Clark singing in it, but it's a still a really good song. I really like it. I really like the chorus where he says, Driving nails into my soul, or however the lyrics are, but yeah, I really like that chorus. It's an easy sing-along song, so yeah, great song though, for sure. So, Driving Nails gets a... 4.5 out of 5. Okay, song 6 is the title track, The World is a Thorn. Now, this is a good title track, but it's not one of their best title tracks. I'll say that now, but it's a decent title track. It's not their best title track, but it still works good, though, as a title track. And it is one of the more crushing songs on the album, but it's still good. So, the score for the title track... I'm giving it a 3 out of 5. Good title track though, despite it not being one of their best for me when it comes to any of their title tracks that 
or from their other albums, but it's still a good title track on this album. So, the next song is Tie This Around Your Neck. Now, this is easily my least favorite song. I just want to say, why Demon Hunter? Why did you guys make this song now? It's not terrible, but Tie This Around Your Neck is easily my least favorite on the album. I think the chorus is really cringy and meh because he says, Tie This Around Your Neck. I kind of find that like a suicidal thing for whatever reason. I could be wrong, but that's what I'm guessing the song's about. I'm not really sure. But either way, it's an alright song. It's just easily my least favorite song on this album, if I have to be quite honest with you guys. But it's not a bad song. So with that being said, I gave it a low score, though. But it's not a terrible song. I just find it pretty cringe when it comes to the chorus and that. But it's still an alright song. So the score for it, the song, the song tied us around your neck gets a 2.5 out of 5 rating, just one of the worst songs I've heard from Demon Hunter, if I had to be honest. Just one of the worst songs from the band and easily my least favorite on this album. So, yeah, that's why it gets a 2.5 out of 5. It's not horrible, it's just meh and cringe, pretty much. I don't hate the song, I just don't really care for it. So that's why I gave it a low score as well, if I'm going to be really honest here. Alright, song 8 is Just Breeds featuring Christian... Alva Stam, and let me look here on the front of the sticker because it says which band Christian Alva Stam is from, and it's from the band called Misseration. I believe that's how you pronounce the band's name. I never heard of that band before, so bear with me there. But I think this is a good collab between Demon Hunter and Christian. It's good. Both Ryan Clark of Demon Hunter and Christian Alva Stam of Misseration, I think they do good on the song together, so yeah. It's not my favorite clap or anything by any means, but it's still a good song. So, yeah, this song, I'll be fair and give it a high score because I really like it. Good song. So, I'm going to give it a 4 out of 5. Great song. Alrighty, song 9 is Shallow Water. Now, this is a pretty underrated song again. I really like Shallow Water. It's good and underrated. I wish more fans of this band would at least give the song a chance even if this is one of your least favorite albums from the band still give shallow water a chance because it's a good song and it really works really well for the album it's more towards the end of the album because this album only has 11 songs but yeah shallow water though still is a good song so with that being said i'm gonna give shallow water a 3.5 out of 5 I know that's kind of a low ranking, I mean a low score for the song, but there's better songs on the album, but it's still a good song though, and I really like it though, so 3.5 out of 5 for Shallow Water. Alrighty, track 10, Feel As Though You Could featuring Dave Peters of Throwdown Now. I've heard of Throwdown, they're a good hardcore or metalcore band, they're really good, so yeah, I really like Phil as you, Phil as though you could, I meant to say my bad there. I really like that collaboration. It's my least favorite out of the collabs on this album, but it's still good. So this one will also get a 3.5 out of 5. And the title track, I mean the title track, I meant the last track on the album, my bad. The last track on the album is Blood in the Tears, and this is easily another favorite for me on the album. I shouldn't have to explain it. So yeah, I think this song is a really great closing track. It works good as the closing track. It's more of another ballad because it only includes clean vocals from vocalist Ryan Clark, but it's still a very good album closer and easily one of my favorite album closers from Demon Hunter. So yeah, this song is easily one of my favorites on the album. So with this one, I'm going to be biased here. Since it is one of my favorites on the album, I'm going to be biased and give it a 5 out of a 5 score. Because I really love this song and I can definitely relate to the message of the song. So that's another part of the reason why I gave it a 5 out of 5. So yeah though, with that being said, this isn't one of my favorite Demon Hunter albums. It's another album from theirs that would be near the bottom for me along with Outlive. But The World is a Thorn is still... A good album from Demon Hunter, just not one of their best. So yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this review, and if you did, 
please hit the like button. If you like what you're seeing on this channel thus far, please subscribe. I'd gladly appreciate that. So before I end off this album review for The World is a Thorn by Demon Hunter, I want to rank this album on a scale between 1 to 10. So with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and give this album a 7.5 out of 10 despite it not being one of my favorites from them and it being more towards the bottom for me when it comes to any of their albums i'm still going to give it a solid score so seven and a half out of five isn't a bad score so yeah it's still a good album despite that so yeah let me know what y'all think of demon hunter and this album what are your favorite songs on the album and all that good stuff and i'll see y'all next time thank you for watching and yeah peace